very good day to you and welcome to the program from Snowy and myself. Snowy is right behind there. He's just having something to eat. And the cattle are grazing peacefully in the background. It's a beautiful summer's day. The birds are singing in the trees. And I've got a special message for you. God has called you and me to become builders, not destroyers. Someone that destroys is the opposite of a builder. You know, I think of that uh, little illustration of a little boy building a sandcastle on the beach. And he's so proud of it. And then some ugly little boy comes along and just kicks it away and kicks it to pieces. You and I are not called to break things down. We are called to build things up. But we've got to build from the inside out. Okay? What kind of a builder would you and I be if our house was beautiful on the outside and there was nothing on the inside? In fact, Jesus called the Pharisees the very, very thing. He said, you whitewashed sepulchers. A sepulcher is um, like a, um, a monument. Whitewashed sepulchers, all nice and white on the outside and full of dead man's bones on the inside. We need to start building from the inside out. Our home has got to be warm, inviting, peaceful. And then, madam, your husband will come home and he won't go to the pub. I really mean that. You need to ask yourself that question sometimes. Why doesn't he come home? Why does he prefer to go and drink with the boys? Maybe he's got more fellowship there. And then I want to say to you, sir, why is your wife always breaking down in tears? Because you spend your money on everything except the home. We need to start building at home. If you look at John chapter 6 and verse 27, Jesus says, Do not labor for the food which perishes, but rather for food which endures to everlasting life, which the Son of Man will give you, because God the Father has set His seal upon Him. Start investing and building Things that are going to last forever. What are we talking about here? We are talking not about brick and mortar, but about relationships. Build friendships with your children. Build friendships with your spouse, with your neighbors, with your workmates. Start building from the inside out. Start disciplining your own, your own body, what you eat. The way in which you spend your money. Where do you spend your time? Sitting in front of the TV all the time. You won't grow in the things of God. Get up in the morning. Spend time in the presence of God. Build yourself up in the things of the Lord. And then when the storms come, and by the way, they will come, whether you're a Christian or not, you can withstand the storm because your building is built on the Word of God. But if you're building on everything else, and the storm comes, the building will collapse. I don't wish anything negative for you, my dear friend. I really don't. But I want to tell you, as an older man, prepare yourself for the storms of life. They will come. Start spending more time in prayer. Start getting to know the Word of God. Start looking to eternity and not to here. And when these tests come, maybe it's a death in the family. Maybe it's a problem in your business. I don't know. Maybe it's something to do with your physical health. You'll be able to stand because you've got good foundations. You've built them up in the Lord Jesus Christ and you're ready for whatever comes. And not only for you, but for your loved ones, for your neighbors and your friends. People should come to you when they've got problems because they know that you have the answer. And his name is Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the great builder. God bless you. Goodbye. We trust that you have been blessed by today's message. For more information, please visit angusbucken.com.